please introduce yourself and uh, uh, please explain what happens after the voting hours complete. My name is Don Forrest. I work for a new and new law firm. I was an election officer here on November 3rd. Uh, and let me explain what happens at the end of the day. Uh, the polls close at 7 o'clock, which means no more voting can take place after 7. Uh, we had two uh, ballot counting machines where individuals actually place in their ballots. The ballots, once they go in physically, the ballots go in for drop box. What happens is, is for each machine, you, you tabulate electronically how the votes come out. Uh, once that's completed, you then unlock the ballot boxes. You take out the ballots from both machines. Uh, once the ballots come out from both machines, you place them in secure boxes with security tape. Two officers of each party need to observe that. Public and Democrat. Then there's a form that goes on both ballot boxes. You need to sign as you have been the one to put those boxes on. After all of that, uh, the chief that takes all of those ballots in the secure boxes to the government center in Fairfax, where they get tabulated. Um, I would say uh, one, of, one of the observations I had was that uh, I was heartened to see how many people actually came into votes. I was heartened to see how many first-time voters, uh, people who just turned 18, <laughs> uh, some a little older, 2021, but also the ethnic makeup, incredible. Uh, Chinese, Indian, Pakistani, uh, many people from Eastern Europe, all over the world, uh, who were obviously American citizens, but first time voters. Um, my general observation is it's important that every American citizen take that opportunity, which is their right to vote. Thank you very much.